Okay, let's take a uh, quick look at how to add a plugin, how to add and use a plugin uh, with Joystick Gremlin. And of course, uh, according to my other related videos, you, first you need VJoy. That's going to be the actual joystick, well, the virtual joystick that your uh, various programs, games, sims will use. And then um, you need Joystick Gremlin, which is needs to remain active, and that's the piece that supplies those VJoy uh, axis or buttons. Uh, with uh, functions from your actual device. So let's just go ahead and take a look at how we do this. This is what I found on Reddit. This is a pretty good little plugin. And uh, just go here and you just copy, copy, control C, then you're, you're going to open up uh, Notepad. and uh, paste it in. And I've already done that actually. Save it and use the uh, file name or whatever you like with a, it needs to have an extension of .pi so it's recognized. And then once you've done that, put it somewhere where you can find it in Joystick Gremlin and we'll take a look at that. So let's go ahead and go to the folder where I extracted Joystick Gremlin. And well, you'll notice here that's, that's where I saved that particular filter. And so then we're just going to go through this whole process here. We'll start Joystick Gremlin. And we're going to um, Let's just do this on, uh, on my Warthog. I've got, uh, well, y yeah, let's let's do this. And we're going to use, uh, you know what, instead, because these dudes have a little jitter, we're going to use my Xbox controller. And let's just see which one. Could be any one I want. So we're going to use the Y axis. That's one of the mini sticks. And so what we're going to do over here, and uh, we're going to add a plug in. And again, it's going to be right where I uh, put that, which is going to be here. And there, I'm going to open it. And now I need to configure it. I'll click the little wheel there, and what axis am I going to map? Actually, I didn't even need to look at it back here, because this is going to determine what, what maps to it. So we will go ahead and use this uh, mini stick on my Warthog. So I'll click Press, and then I move that axis. And you can see it got it. And uh, right now the dead zone is 25. I'm going to change this to 25 to make it more obvious what it's doing. And then we're going to go File. We're going to say Profile As. It's going to put it there. We're just going to call it um, Jitter. We'll just, we'll just do that. And it's not active. Well, before we make it active, let's just go ahead and, and pull up our game controllers. We're going to go to VJoy, and you'll notice that uh, the virtual output is to VJoy and the Y axis. And I showed how to add the Y axis to the VJoy using the VJoy config before. And so now we'll go to Prof. And you'll notice that now I'm going to move that, and nothing's happening. This is the Y axis right there. And the reason is nothing, nothing is happening because it's not active. And so I'll make it active, then I'll go again. And you'll notice it's moving in steps. And that's because I have a 25 uh, dead zone size. And that's a moving dead zone. And so as I move, it moves it around that. If I want to make that smoother, I want to have more than, say, six steps across the whole range, then I can change that to something like maybe, let's try 15. And uh, we'll, we'll do a file save. We'll just turn it off and back on. And see, I still have steps, but they're smaller. And so if I want to make that even a fire, I can change it to maybe 5. And again, I'll save that on and off, properties. And now you can see it's smoother. And yet, if I had any jitter in here, as long as that jitter does not exceed 5 units, of uh, as specified here by my dead zone, then you're not going to see it in this axis, even as I'm moving it, because it's going to establish. Well, you might see a little bit as it moves between the zones, and so the further you refine it, again, you you don't want to make this smaller than the amount of jitter you're getting, but uh, you can get a much smoother axis on and say an old. Uh, 
an old a device an old device that has uh, old pots that are worn out or very dirty you can't clean them for whatever reason so this is how to use that uh, and you don't um, you don't go back to one of these and add a, a, a remap you simply do it with a plug-in and uh, that's how you do that